Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Sarah, it's nice to meet you. And of course, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. All right, so today we're doing a first day of school, back to school, whatever you wanna call it, makeup look. So this is the look I came up with and it's a pretty, I feel like it's a pretty fresh, young looking, youthful, radiant, glowy looking, glowy looking, glowing looking look. All right, so anyways, here's my take on a back-to-school look. Hopefully you guys do like it. If you want to see how I got this look, which is very easy and very doable for pretty much anyone, high school, college, whatever. So go ahead, stick around, and without further ado, we'll start the video. All right, so for your like back-to-school look or first day of school or first week to school, whatever, every day to school, you want to start off by having a nice base moisturized and you know just a fresh nice base and that consists of good skin and of course I'm gonna go in with my mix easy little formula I've talked about this in a couple of my videos basically it's a website you go to it's mixeasy.com and you get to pick and choose like what different ingredients you want that is like you know tailored to your skin which is freaking awesome so mix easy and I will put my little you know like a little code down the description box so if you want like some you know discount or whatever I mean why not so it's mix easy and mine is the face cream I got me a face cream mix easy and mine has just really good ingredients for pretty much dry skin anti-aging want myself to look a little bit more glowy all right so I'm gonna mix that in well not mix it in but you know pat it into my skin rub it in whatever so now we're going to go in with the brows now for me I do the brows first if you do your foundation first go ahead and do that but it's just my thing I do my brows first and of course I'm going to quickly spoolie my brows if you don't have to do that then obviously don't worry about spooling your brows so spooling my brows so of course everyone's like back to school, first day to school look is going to be different. But this is just what I'm going to do if I was going back to school or if it was my first day back to school or whatever. So my brows, if you can tell, I have brows hair, brows hair, I have brow hair naturally. So what I do is just take this, this one is by Maybelline Brow Define Duo. It has the powder and pencil side. So I take this and I just quickly fill in this sparse area to my brows. I'm not like trying to like draw in like tiny little detailed brow hair. I'm just filling in the empty spaces in my brows. And then taking the powder side, I'm going to just quickly go over with a very light hand my brows to just finish the look up like so all right next i'm going in with the eyes and i'm going to go ahead and use my concealer to prime my lid you can use whatever concealer you want or any primer you want so you know do that real quick so we gotta like we gotta pretend that we're you know getting ready for school we're not like you know sitting down filming a video no we are getting ready for school so we gotta be quick 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 so we got our concealer on because I'm going to assume you guys are going to go to sleep and wake up late and you won't have any time to, to like put your makeup on and then you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't look good for school. So we are going to be quick. Um, all right. So I got my concealer or primer on my lid. Now this palette I'm about to show you, I mean, I've used it many, 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 many times. And if you watch my video, you'll already know that I freaking love this palette. I use it all the time. This palette is, it didn't exist when I was in college or high school or, I mean, it came out recently, so obviously it didn't exist back then. But anyways, it's the Dominique Cosmetic Latte Palette and this is like my go-to palette. There are other palettes that I go to right away, but like, this is like in that pile of go-to palettes, all right? So this palette is just, first of all, has all the colors I need. I feel like it just has the perfect combination of colors that just works well with, um, I don't know, with 
just everyday looks. And it has like a couple of like nice um, pop of colors, if you will, that can help, I guess, make your makeup look pop. All right. So but that's not the goal right now. It's just an back to school fresh look. So with that in mind, you're going to take this palette and do a little bit of makeup. All right. So first I'm taking the vanilla cream color and put like that all over my lid. This will just help have like a nice base. This is like my favorite base eyeshadow color right now. It works really well with my skin tone, so. The next color I'm using is caramel. And we're gonna place that on the outer corner and bring that into the inner corner, but like focusing it on the sockets of your eyes. And I'm using like a very like fluffy brush. Can you guys tell? The brush is pretty fluffy looking, right? Next, using the same brush and just, you know, having the products on there still, it doesn't really matter. Take this shade right here and that is hazelnut, all right? So take that shade and this time we're pretty much doing the same thing but not really dragging it into the inner half of our eyes. We're like really focusing it on the outer corner of our eyelid. Alright, so you can leave it as this and just kind of call it a day and this can be your eye look. Of course, with eyeliner, mascara, if you want to put falsies on, go ahead. But if you want to amp up the look just a little bit, which is what I'm going to do, you know, just put a little bit of shimmer, nothing wrong with that. They have day. This palette has three beautiful shimmers. And just pick which one you want to use. So I think for this look, I'm going to go in with Macchiato, which is the center shimmer shade right there. So I'm just going to pick some of that color up with my fingers and gently place that on the inner half of my eyes. Do you see the difference that that shimmer makes? I mean, hopefully the camera's picking it up, but you know, sometimes when you see things in the camera view and like you see it in real life, it's completely different. So hopefully you guys can see it, but the shimmer looks B-E-A beautiful. So. I like it. All right, so that is pretty much the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. And for the eyeliner, I'm going to take the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. And I know it might be a little bit extra, but I do like doing the whole like cat eye winged look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I mean, that's just what I'm going to do. All right, so I went ahead and finished up the eye look. All I did was put on my eyeliner, like I said earlier, and... I did put on some mascara and I did place on falsies. So normally I probably won't be putting on false lashes when I go to school, but just for the sake of the video, I did put them on. So there you go. And so these are what my eyes look like right now. They're very fresh looking if I don't say so myself. So there you go. All right, so for the face, so the perfect face I guess makeup for school in my opinion is this it cosmetic CC cream so just take just a little bit and of course prime your skin first a good primer is the elf cosmetics hydrating primer and notice I'm using like tiny tiny amount not like a whole bunch but they're very tiny little amounts cuz I'm not trying to go like full face glam just want to look presentable the first day back to school and you can use your beauty blender if you want or your beauty sponge but if I'm in a rush I guess it's because I'm just so used to using a brush the brush is just much easier for me when it comes to applying my makeup all right so this is the important part so you want to look like or at least maybe you are awake but you want to look like you're fully awake and you had your fresh eight hours of sleep, all that good stuff. So just pick your favorite concealer and brighten up that under eye, right underneath your eye. You don't need too much, just enough to really, you know, wake, make yourself look more awake, if that makes sense. So, and then just take your brush or your little sponge and just dab away. All right, so if you can tell, my face and my eyes are looking more refreshed, more awake, and just more vibrant looking, thanks to the concealer. So now go ahead and take 
your favorite bronzer. I'm using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. And we're just going to just ever so slightly bronze our face. Now, everyone's method of bronzing your face or contouring or whatever you want to do is different. But for me, I'm doing a very light hand bronzing. And believe it or not, I really do like this little brush that comes with. Do you guys see that? Like the slightest amount makes the biggest difference. So I like that. And when you're bronzing your cheeks, make sure you bronze upwards, not downwards. So now that I got myself nicely bronzed for school, I want to go ahead and, you know, put on some rosy cheeks and for this, I'm going to use my Coral Cove. This one's by Milani. A very nice coral color. And just take some on my brush and dab that on my cheeks. Now, I learned, like, when you put the blush on, that focusing it on the, like, I guess literally the apples of your cheeks, like, right in the front, right there, just keeping your focus at that area, it makes you look younger, so... Maybe I should be doing that all the time, but, um, so you can do that if you want. Or you can pull your blush back to your hairline if you wish. Usually, I do, like, pull it back to my hairline just because I'm just, I don't know, I like that look better. Maybe it ages me, I don't know, but, um, that's just what I do. So, put on your favorite blush, and now we can't forget the highlighter. Now, I'm contemplating either... Like, which highlighter I should use. I had the Candy Johnson Cream Highlighter. Now, cream highlighters are really good because they just look more natural and dewy looking. And if that's the look you're going for, for your back to school first day look, then use that. But another really good highlighter is by Maybelline. And I'm trying to get it open right now. So, here it is. It's by Maybelline. It's their holographic highlighter. So, can you guys... Ooh, can you guys see that hitting the light? So I know it looks kind of like scary looking, especially for the first day back to school. But honestly, it's not scary looking at all. You know what? For this look, I'll do both. So on this side, let's go ahead and do the cream highlighter just to show you guys what it looks like. So cream highlighter, as you can tell, the stick. You can go ahead and, you know, rub some on your finger and dab it in. But I'm just going to kind of... You know, place that right on my cheeks. You guys can tell what it looks like, right? It's showing. And then using your fingers, like the warmth of your finger will help melt and soften up and blend in the look nicely. So, see how natural that looks? You still get that like dewy, glowy look, but it's not like too in your face intense. So, it's perfect. Now, if you want to go a little bit extra, but still, in my opinion, it's not, like, that extra because I've seen extra-er, if that makes sense. Alright, so, I'm going to take my holographic highlighter and take some on my brush. Alright, so just dip some in. And so, we're going to place that on our cheeks. I'm just going to tap it lightly. Can you guys see that? So it's really not that, like, you know, intense looking, but it does give a nice little glow to it. So I like that. Alright. So we got our highlighter on, and, ooh. And, of course, finish it off with your favorite lip product. The perfect lip product to use is the Domini Cosmetics Lip Gloss. She has four colors you can choose from. This one is in the shade Peach Tea. Just a really nice lip gloss to finish up the look and then of course go ahead and set your face with your favorite setting spray and that's pretty much it for the look all right so this is my take on back to school first day of school makeup look i mean i think it did a pretty good job nice fresh youthful looking look if i don't say so myself i think it's appropriate for high school and even college so here is the makeup look I came up with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do like videos like this, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Like this video means so much to me. And that way I know if you like the video that I can do more videos like this. Different makeup tutorials or just different makeup looks like everyday 
an everyday person does, if that makes sense. So here's a makeup look, and um, if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe, become part of the Quack fam, click on that notification bell, and I promise, like, I don't know when, I'm just, you know, trying to gather my thoughts on when the notification bell, um, notification bell, uh, winners or I mean there is no winner right now but notification bell squad prizes will go out you know what rules I want to make so just maybe if you have any suggestions comment down below and let me know but I'm thinking of something I want to do so anyways enough blabbing so here's the final look and hopefully you guys enjoyed and of course I hope you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful night wherever you are I'll talk to you next time all right bye